Welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today we are going to learn how to draw this mermaid using oil pastels. I'm using Cray Pass Junior Artist Oil Pastels. Here is what those look like. I will also be using some orange construction paper as well as my Pigma Sensei pen set. I'm using the mechanical pencil from it and one of the markers. I've also got a blending stick that I'm going to use. Totally optional. Grab a pencil and we're going to basically sketch out the skeleton of our mermaid. Okay, so begin by drawing a circle for her head and then draw a line down that will be her neck going down to her hips, a line right across for her her shoulders and then a slanted line down for her hips and we're gonna do some circles for joints so there's shoulders shoulder and I'm going to do a line down with a circle for her elbow and then a line over and then a circle for her hand a line down on the other side from the shoulder make her elbow a circle and then a line over and then a circle now I'm just gonna turn those hand circles into rectangles representing where her hands will be so she's sitting on a rock okay now go from your slanted line and do a triangle down there with a circle for the bend in her um, tail and then a line down there from there with the circle and the line over and then a big triangular shape for her tail okay now we're going to fill in shapes around the skeleton that we drew out so do an oval, kind of an upside down egg from her shoulders down to her waist and then you're going to round off that triangular shape that we did for the top of her tail there. Then you'll do a, a rounded upside down triangle there, a little oval connecting from those joints, that joint to the tail and then just connect those lines right into the tail. Now let's go to her arm. We're going to do uh, just a long oval down to the circle we drew and a long oval from the elbow to the hand same on the other side just long ovals now I'm drawing pretty dark with my pencil so that you can see um, make sure your lines are really light because you'll, you'll want to erase them now I'm grabbing a marker from my Pigma Sensei set and I'm outlining my mermaid so I'm filling in some of her wavy hair putting in some big round googly eyes in the middle with a soft nose and smile and I'm making some lines thicker than others I'm going around her tail outlining her hand there drawing in the big rock with a few starfish at the bottom and adding some shadows a lot of this is going to be covered up by oil pastel but I want a nice dark outline for this project so that's what I'm doing. Now grab your oil pastels. I wanted to show you what I'm using. I'm using the Junior Artist oil pastels from Curry Pass. They're made especially for children, which is great because they're non-toxic and safe and they still work really beautifully. Now for the fun part, coloring in our mermaid with our oil pastels. Get creative, use whatever colors you want. For her skin, I'm using some blue and apricot colored, white, put green in her eyes, pink in her cheeks, and now I'm filling in her tail with light green and dark green and some blue on the edge. Now as I'm laying down this color, yellow in her hair, I, when I'm adding a new color next to a color I've already laid down, I'm pushing the oil pastels into each other so that they blend while I push. Putting some gray all in the brighter parts of the rock, filling brown in the shadowy parts, making my starfish red and yellow. Adding a little more green and blue to her tail. Now I've got my blending stick. You could use your finger. And I'm blending it. So blending and redefining. Blending and redefining. Adding more color here and there. Softening the lines in the hair so they're not quite so harsh. And then re-adding, redefining those black lines 
just to give the outline some nice definition. Everything I'm doing here is my what I'm choosing to do, but you can do whatever you want. Seriously, and I love when people take you know their own initiative to put what they want in their piece to make it their own. You can sometimes make it a lot more special that way for you if you choose to do that. I encourage it. So now I'm putting the water around her and I've chosen to outline her and I've got a line of blue and I'm going to put line after line after line as a stylistic choice of different shades of blue. You can see it follows the line of the mermaid and the rocks. I feel like this just gives the water a little movement around her. So does her hair curling and flowing out. So filling in these colors, filling in these colors. The orange is a nice color because it's the opposite of blue. So it's giving some nice contrast in the water there. And I'm going to go and blend all the blue I just laid down with my blending stick. Again, a preference thing. Do whatever your heart tells you to do. Do you want the pastels chunky? Do you want them smooth? Do you like the texture to be rough? Or what, you know? Make it your own. And if you want, you can take something sharp. I'm using the end of my mechanical pencil. I've retracted the, the pencil lead and I'm just scratching in some scales right into her tail. And I'll also scratch some detail into her hair. This is a great way to get fine detail in oil pastel pieces. And as soon as I'm done with that, that wraps it up for me. Thank you so much for joining Mr. Otter today for this lesson on how to create a mermaid using oil pastels. We hope you enjoyed it as much as us. And we'll see you next time. Bye.